Hello there, it's good to be here again to serve you with this week's edition of the weekly Premium Times podcast. I am your host, Titi Lope Fadari. Last week, we witnessed how President Muhammad Buhari used his constitutional power to pardon two former governors that were convicted for stealing public funds. And this week, the president shocked us with his silence on the exorbitant cost of his political party or Progressive Congress expression of interest and nomination forms. The APC fixed its presidential nomination form at 100 million naira. To be sure, that 100 million naira is higher than seven years salary of a Nigerian president. If you are still not clear, it means that every APC presidential aspirant will have to pay an amount that's higher than what he or she will earn for seven years. That is if they become the Nigerian president. Nobody did you be that. Ah, and this is happening under President Buario. Remember in 2014 when Buari said he had to borrow money to purchase the APC's nomination form because the then 27 million naira was too exorbitant. But this time around, the president has not said anything. Anyway, we hope he has paid back the loan by now. The 2023 presidential race is likely going to get a late joiner and is no other person but former President Goodluck Jonathan. Hundreds of people in Abuja marched on Friday to beg Mr. Jonathan to contest for the 2023 presidential elections. Mr. Jonathan says he is yet to decide whether or not to join the race. Instead, he asked the teaming youths to watch out as the political process is ongoing. Earlier in the week, the posters of Mr. Jonathan were all over the APC secretariat in Abuja. It remains to be seen if the former president were joining the ruling party. Should Mr. Jonathan join the presidential race and under which party is he going to contest? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, in the People's Democratic Party, former Senate President Bukola Saraki and Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohamed have been chosen as the Northern Consensus candidates. Mr. Saraki and Mr. Mohamed were shortlisted by Northern leaders of the party. The Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tabua rejected that arrangement and he said he has submitted his presidential nomination forms and is now prepared for a primary election. Away from politics, a couple of weeks ago, we saw how some relationship people go from being lovey-dovey to dragging themselves inside Instagram potopoto. This week, love leads the way as Rita Dominic, the undisputed queen of Nollywood, ties the knot with her heartthrob. We are not only happy for her, but we are also wowed by her dazzling beauty. Some celebrities attended the traditional wedding in Imo State, and we have been getting content back to back. And we join the millions of friends and film lovers around the world in wishing Rita Dominic and her heartthrob Mr. Fidelis Anosike a blissful marital life. As usual, this edition was written by Kabir Yusuf and Titi Lopez Fadari. See you next week. And do not forget, if you like this podcast, please share and favorite and also visit www.premiumtimesng.com to catch the latest edition of this podcast series.